Hey guys, today we are in Volkswagen with a MIP2 based infotainment system. This unit was uh, updated to the facelift firmware and it's running stock file system right now. So um, we don't have options like App Connect at the moment. We don't have options like voice control right now. And we are going to try to bypass this uh, in a minute. So what we are going to try to do is use the MIP2 standard toolbox. I've already showed you in one of the previous videos how to how to install the toolbox and uh, right now I'm just going to show you what's uh, needed uh, which kind of uh, units are supported by the toolbox so by press and hold of the menu button for about three seconds you will have this service mode over here you are going to versions uh, versions and you want to check uh, three things if you have MIP2 standard device so MST2 in the software train means that you have MIP2 uh, standard device. If you have MHI2, it's uh, MIP2 high. This is not for you. Second thing that you need to check if uh, the software train ends with T, like Technisat. Uh, if it ends with D, like Delphi, this is not for you. We have T, so we are, um, we are good. And the third thing that you need to check if the device is equipped with navigation. We have uh, S. TV to nav, we have nav button, we have the main unit in the, in the glove box with two SD card ports, so this unit is um, equipped with navigation and only when those three conditions are met we can use the, we can use the toolbox. So check the uh, video over here or it's linked also in the description below this video about install, uh, how to install the um, MIP2 standard toolbox and right now I'm going to show you how to enter it and how to use it to activate those uh, those features. Hopefully it will work. So press and hold the menu button for about three seconds and you will have this test mode uh, button over here. If you don't have it, uh, keep holding it for about 10 seconds and you will enter this, um, this menu. And over here we are going to um, green engineering menu. We are scrolling down to uh, MIP standard 2 toolbox. We are scrolling down to tools. And over here we are scrolling down to patch and there's a patch called system swap and generate EL. So let's press it. Ah, and you need to have the, uh, and you need to have the toolbox SD card inserted into the, into the unit because it will make some backup files and it will store it on the SD card. Okay, so let's press it. Waiting. It's doing its magic. Bank. patch applied please restart the unit so right now we need to reboot the unit so let's press and hold the uh, volume control knob over here for about 10 seconds and after those 10 seconds we should see that the display will go completely dark you can release the button wait for the system to reboot fingers crossed if it reboots correctly and we will have uh, the default uh, volume right now so i'm going to i'm going to turn off the music as soon as it uh, as it appears no i have paused it okay so right now let's go to app connect and here it is we have app connect available we have voice controls cancel cancel and uh, it seems to be working. Okay, so in the description below this video, you'll find a little bit more details about this method. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.